evening. I'm Donna Bush with your CIG TV News update. Following a rigorous recruitment process, Her Excellency the Governor has appointed Derek Patrick Byrne from Ireland as the new Cayman Islands Commissioner of Police. Mr. Byrne is a highly experienced police officer with 36 years of experience and he comes to the Cayman Islands after eight years as Assistant Commissioner with Ireland's National Police Service where he held the operational, strategic and business lead for serious and organized crime. His four-year contract with the RCIPS will begin in November this year. Commissioner Byrne says within his first month, he will visit all of the islands to meet with community leaders, community groups, and business leaders to obtain a first-hand account of policing requirements on the islands, which will feed into and inform future strategic planning and the direction of the policing service. Meantime, Her Excellency has also made some appointments to the Cayman Islands Anti-Corruption Commission. Mr. Richard Coles, Mr. W. Norman Bodden, Mrs. Sophia Harris, Mrs. Katie Pentney, and Mr. Tim Ridley have all been appointed to the Anti-Corruption Commission starting back on the 15th of August. Now, their appointments will run for staggered terms of between two and three years. Her Excellency says the ACC has an exceptionally important role to play in the Cayman Islands' commitment to combat and deter corruption and the members of the ACC work diligently to enhance and promote the accountability of all public officials. Well, four local school principals received certificates from Minister the Honorable Tara Rivers last week, with their peers receiving the Ontario Principal Council certificate on an earlier date. Ontario is one of the few education systems that require all school principals and vice principals to be accredited. This after a 2010 report on school systems around the world deemed Ontario to be moving from great to excellent as a result of OPC supporting the development of leadership in other countries. They developed the International School Leadership Certificate, which is based on the OPC leadership framework. I know the past year has been um, a challenge on many fronts, but you've all stepped up for it. And I want to say a big thank you for embracing the opportunity and seeing those challenges as opportunities for improvement for the system, but also for yourselves to become the best leaders of your respective schools. Principals in the Cayman Islands who are part of the training will have gone through various modules, including principal leadership for school improvement, leading improvement in classroom instruction, meeting needs of all learners, and characteristics of effective schools and systems, just to name a few. Participating principals have completed their modules online. Well, last Thursday, the third annual Cayman Connection UK reception was held at the St. Ignatius uh, School Hall. Those who attended were able to network and have fun. Now, the receptions were spo was sponsored by various businesses on island, including the Cayman Islands government, and have traditionally been a time when students, friends, and associates who have connections to the UK to get together and share experiences. It is also a chance for those considering tertiary education in the UK to get some tips and advice from those who are already there. Finally, if you missed our news update today, you can get all the details on our Facebook page as well as our YouTube channel. For now, I'm Donna Bush, as always, wishing you a wonderful night, thanking you for joining me, and hoping you'll do the same again tomorrow. Until then, have a wonderful night, and bye-bye for now.